Hello everyone, today I'll just be introducing and giving a quick overview of this large jumbo size LED wall clock and running through some of the key features. So first off, this is a ginormous clock. If you can't tell, the dimensions measure out to be about 8 by 20 inches. It's powered by this permanently attached USB cable. It also comes with a power adapter you can plug into your wall. There's also this slot here in the back for a coin battery to store the memory functions of the clock. Otherwise, every time you unplug it, you will have to reprogram the time, dates, all that kind of stuff. In addition to telling the time, of course, it will show the year, the month, and day, as well as the ambient temperature, which is really interesting. You can change that from Fahrenheit to Celsius as well. In addition to temperature sensing, it also has this light sensing so that you can change the brightness level of the LEDs depending on the ambient conditions. You can see the sensors here on the bottom. You can have it set to automatic so that it will take advantage of the sensor. Or you can also set it for manual control and you can control it via the remotes. Uh, the various different brightness levels. As I alluded to before, in addition to of course telling time and date, is able to perform countdown functions as well as alarm and stopwatch. So with the countdown feature, you can set it um, up to days. You can have it set up up to 999 days um, and then you can also set up for hours, minutes, um, even seconds. And then in terms of the alarm functionality, you're actually able to store up to 16 different alarms. And there are quick viewing buttons to the first four alarms directly on the remote itself. Anymore, you can use the plus icon for the additional uh, alarms. And finally, the stopwatch function, as the name implies, will just have the timer counting up. It can continue counting from seconds up to days. So that's this Jumbo LED wall clock in a nutshell. You can, of course, as the name imply, mount it on the wall, or you can have it set up like mine, just leaning against the wall so you don't have to fuss with some permanent fixtures.